Welcome back, everyone, on the most loving of days, I think it's fair to say, and we are just in time for today's ticket giveaway. Okay, now it's a special edition, as it is, of course, Valentine's Day, and we are feeling extra lovey-dovey. So today's winners will receive two first-class flights to the Maldives for a week, staying in a five-star hotel and a free champagne breakfast. Okay, let's see what we have on the line. Hi, it's Chris. Well, hello, Chris. How are you today? Oh, I'm good, thanks. I just can't believe I got through. <laughs> well, congratulations. You have got through. Now, where are you from, Chris? Uh, the Midlands. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. And if you won the tickets then, Chris, who would you take with you? Oh, I'd, uh, I'd take my girlfriend, Suzanne. How romantic. How long have you been together? Just over five years now, yeah. Mm. Nice, nice. Now, are you close to popping the question? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I've, I have thought about it, actually, yeah, but uh, just, I've never had the bottle. <laughs> ah, well, this is the perfect opportunity. Okay, where will she be at the minute, then? Uh, she'll be at work. Right, okay. Your challenge, then, Chris, is to propose to Suzanne over the phone. Now, if she says yes, you will win that five-star holiday to the Maldives. How are you feeling, Chris? I don't know, I mean, it's a bit nerve-wracking, eh? I mean, it could work out quite well, I suppose. I've never really had that the minerals to say it to her face, you know? OK, well, look, if you're struggling to get the yes, then you could always say you've booked first-class tickets to the Maldives and a five-star hotel as well for the honeymoon, OK? <laughs> Right then, Chris, here we go. Connecting now. Best of luck. Hello? Hey, babe, it's me. Oh, hi. Your number didn't show on my phone. Oh, uh, I had to make some work calls, so um, I had it set on private. Anyway, listen, I've, I've been thinking a lot recently, and as today's Valentine's Day, uh, you know how much you mean to me, um, I just thought it was the perfect time to Chris? ask. J just give me a sec, babe, please. Oh, God, what's going on? Look, Suzanne, listen, I love you with all my heart. Will you marry me? What the f***? You think proposing to me on Valentine's Day makes up for the past two years? Uh, um, but... What the hell, Chris? How can you propose after all the shit we've had? But I, I thought we were in a good place now. Oh, you thought, because I've been working away and we're in a good place. Yeah, right, we only get on when we don't look, see okay, each other. Look, Let's get I, did, I didn't mean it, babe, oh, right? I was listening, listen to me, I was just trying to win some... No, Let, I don't uh, want to hear it, Chris. Who thinks it's a good idea to propose over the phone anyway? I've had enough. Look, don't you think you're overreacting a bit? Overreacting? You've just asked me to marry you over the phone just because of some stupid day on a made-up calendar. Look, I really think Forget that... Forget it. I don't want to be with oh, you God. anymore. And while I'm at it, I may as well tell you I'm moving in with Sid. What? Sid who? Sid from work. We've been seeing each other for a few months. And I do not want to see you again. Goodbye. Ooh, Chris, how are you feeling? You OK? Uh, I, uh... Oh, gee, uh... Look, mate, can you just, can you make sure that doesn't go out on air, please? Well, we, we are actually live. <laughs>